All right, so uh, I made a bit of an oopsie. So last episode, you know, was game two of the second round. Uh, and we're currently looking at the box score for game three. So I recorded game three, recorded the whole way through. And I realized while editing that you could not even hear me talking. My mic was just completely low and my voice was at the same level as my game audio. And you, you couldn't hear me talk. All you heard was a commentator. So I had to scrap that, sadly. And we missed out on a really good game because Josh Richardson put up his career high in the playoffs. I'm not sure if that's his career. No, 37 is his career high. That is his playoff career high, I believe. As a Heat fan, I don't remember him dropping any more than 30 in the playoffs. I might be wrong. Um, but he dropped 30 points on 13 of 20 for shooting. He took the most shot attempts in this game. Cedric had 32 points, did not miss a three all night, and had 20 assists. Aiden had 19 and 12. Lamelo had um, 14 and 12, and Marketing had 11. All around effort, and Josh Richardson with a career game. And for the Pistons, Jaden Ivey got it going. Cade Cunningham struggled, and Terry Rozier also struggled. Uh, Jonathan Isaac is now in the starting lineup because uh, Brandon Miller is injured. And we are now up three games to nothing. And here are the stats for that game in Synergy 2K. We're going to click the win. We're going to accept. And as you can see here, the game two stats uh, had 65 points in that overtime victory. Now, let's see if we can complete the sweep of the second seed of Detroit Pistons. We Just remember, we didn't even sweep the sixth seed. We only went to five games as the sixth seed, and we might be sweeping the second seeded Pistons as the Cavaliers are up 3 0, the San Antonio Spurs are up 3 1, and the Pelicans are up 2 1 on the one seeded Blazers. So let's see if we can complete that sweep and take out this Pistons team. All right, here we go in Charlotte back for this game for looking to close this series out and make our second straight conference finals appearance, not having to face. Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat this time, most likely going up against the team we swept last year in the Cleveland Cavaliers. It will be a showdown out east as uh, Larry Markkinen is not going to take the shot. I'll come set you the screen. He's going to decide not to take it because uh, 2K. Uh, Larry Markkinen, you have the smaller guy on you and Jaden Ivey. Can you take advantage? You refuse to take advantage, but Aiton gets the floater to go. I am so far struggling with my shot as they, honestly, they are fouling me a lot, but they're not, LaMelo, what are we doing, buddy? Why are you just spinning there? I finally hit a three. I think I'm one for three or one for four so far, but LaMelo, when you do stuff like that, that's why I hate playing with you. I will not lie. When you're, you know, actually passing the ball and not trying to be the next Kyrie Irving or the next Steph Curry. Then, uh, I enjoy playing with you, but when you're doing stupid stuff like that, it's very, very irritating. I'm already marketing. I don't know why you tried to hand the ball back off, but you knocked it down. All right, I'm going to sub out here for the first time in this game. We have, like, I think it's a three or four point lead so far, and the game is tied. Would you look at that? That's insane how that's not a bucket. Oh, steal. You ain't throw it back down, Cedric. That's insane how that last shot was not a bucket, dude. What a great release. And 2K just 2Ks it. And I end up missing the shot. Even though it's a great release, only because it's contested. Aiton, dude, can we chill a little bit? I need my teammates not to be all near me when I'm trying to do that play. Dude, like, it's so irritating when I'm trying to do that fadeaway. And I have either Lowry Marketing or DeAndre Aiton up my ass while I'm doing the fade away. Oh, fade away. Like, why? Like, what's what's the need? What is the need? And why am I so slow all of a sudden? Oh, yo, yo, this game is really, really something. Lowry Markkinen, instead of cutting to the basket, he pulls up for a mid-range, still contested, when he could have, when he easily, he already did beat his defender. And now, let's pull up for a contested mid-range. Dude, why are they all coming near me? Dude. Give me some space, dude. Space the floor. Don't just come huddle around me. I'm getting subbed out here. So I'm completely irritated. Because my chair keeps sinking down for no reason. And my teammates forgot how to play basketball. But we're still up by two. Oh, there's a classic double screen. There's a classic double screen from 2K. Yep. 
Yup, yup, yup. I don't know what else I expected. Give me that damn ball. I need to beat Lowry Market into this spot. That should be a bucket. We're trading buckets. I double screen. We're gonna use that. We're gonna go to that low, huh? All right. I see how it is. Ain't no way he hits that good. He's been on fire. He's been on fire. I'm. What? What are these dribble moves now? Now all of a sudden I get a burst of speed, right to the paint. That should be an and one. It is. Jalen Duran picks up his third, and that's an and one. I am out playing. Mr. Jaden Ivy, even though he's giving us buckets, I just missed my first free throw of the playoffs. Awesome. Fast break. I'm open. In the corner. Actually, that I don't know if that's corner of the wing. It don't matter. Six-point lead. Sedgwick has 30, 14 in the quarter. Oh, my God. How is that a foul, dude? Why in this series they're calling a bunch of reaching fouls? I was able to get six, nine steals in one of these games. And now every time I reach for the ball, it's a foul. Like, what is happening? I don't understand the inconsistencies within this. I don't care who's... Okay, never mind. I, wow. What a play. Because apparently we can't play any defense or have any sort of awareness. Melo, can you just take the screen, dude, and not do a million other dribble moves? There is no... No, I am putting myself on... Mr. Jaden Ivy, I don't care if he's been cooking me. No way I'm at. Well, it's it's also Josh Richardson, which I'm not opposed to, as he immediately cooked me. No way, no way he hits that. Thank you. They were setting a million screens for him. Give me that ball. They are double teaming me. So, so one of my bigs, can, can you please cut to the paint? What are we doing, guys? Nick Richards has the mismatch. Like, dude, I had Jalen Duran on me doubling, and none of my bigs decided to cut to the paint. Nick Richards, that is not the shot you take with a guard on you. Thankfully, it and cleaned it up. Give me that. Give me, or don't give me that. What's happening? Why are these guys just able to pick up the ball immediately on loose um, balls? Lamelo, good layup. There's a comparison. Jaden Ivey is having himself a good game, but he's not having himself a Cedric Lewis game. 39 points. Hey, Ivey's got uh 21 on 10 for 18 very very solid and Cade Cunningham I'm sure is doing work he's got 16 in this one so far uh I know Jalen Duran has like 14 points I don't know what LaMelo is doing dude I never know what he's doing because he just plays so chaotic and they oh my how in the hell who was that nah 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 who was that because if that was Jaden Ivey dude it was it was Jaden Ivey so 2k you're telling me that Jaden Ivey can read this all right and he's just going to have the greatest vertical of any man alive and block that. Yeah, no, I don't. Nope, not happening. Not happening, dude. Unbelievable, man. Any, anything to make you lose, 2K will pull out. Anything to make you lose. Nick Richards, you got a guard on you once again. Don't ruin it. The, and, yep, that's the shot he took. That, that's the shot. Never giving you the ball in the post again. Never doing it. Jump ball with Jay Rich and Jalen Duran. Yeah, I don't think this is going to go very well for us. And it didn't. Who would have saw that one coming? A seven-footer versus someone who's 6'5". Give me that. Give me that, LaMelo. You're going to have to make this one because he was all over me. Wow, there goes that highlight play. Dude, are you serious? Are you serious? I'm scared to reach in on a center because they got the greatest uh, hands in the game. Because every time I reach in on Jalen Duran, it's a foul. Uh, LaMelo, how are you going to mess up that play? How? Because Jaden Ivey apparently has 99 speed like me. Doesn't make sense, but well, what, whatever. It is what it is. But you, you gotta hit that shot, dude. You can't just give that up. What is... Nope, I don't trust any of you guys. Any of you guys. Come on. We gotta send them home. We gotta put them away. I'm going straight. Yep. There it is. Up by 10. Three minutes left. It's obviously not over, but that's a great way to try and put them away. The stadium is going nuts right now, and we have all the momentum. Cade Cunningham is wasting all the time doing dribble moves just to end up giving it to Jaden Ivey with five seconds left. Jaden Ivey gets the screen. I am not giving you nothing easy, but Josh Richardson will give John Isaac something easy, but he missed. Give that to me, LaMelo. I do not want you with the ball. We score here, especially a three. It's game over. If we even score a two, it'll be 13 points. Uh, Aiton had to give it to you. Give it to Jay Rich. Nope, you end up going to the line. Aiton ends up drilling both. And if we get a stop here, this game is more than over. They still have life. 
13, I mean, very, very little, like 13 points, one minute left. They would need to drill a three, but it's not looking like they're going to do that. John Isaac at the perimeter, they're wasting way too much time here, and it's looking like they're going to get a bad shot off. It's off, and that is most likely going to do it. Up 13, 40 seconds left. I'm just going to hold on to this one. Cedric Lewis with another master class as we are going to complete the sweep on the two seeded Detroit Pistons. Jaden Ivey gets one off and it is not going to fall. Four seconds left. I'm going straight to it. I'm going straight to it. Uh, that's actually a good release. And I knock it down. 120, 103 is your final score. We went on a run there at the end. And the Pistons have been eliminated in the Hornets. I'm going back to the Eastern Conference Finals. Final box for Lewis, 47 points, 7 rebounds, 6 assists, and 6 steals. Unbelievable game. Caps off an insane series. 56 in Game 1, 65 in Game 2, 32 and 20 assists in Game 3. Caps it off with 47 and 6 in Game 4. 19 to 32 from the field, 3 of 6 from downtown. Missed my first free throw of the CR of the playoffs, so... That is what it is. It in 15 points, 12 rebounds, 4 assists, played very solid. 6 of 7 from the field, did hit a 3. LaMelo Ball, really good game. 14 points, 5 rebounds, 14 assists on 6 for 10. Finney Smith didn't miss a shot off the bench. Mark it in, actually hit 3 out of 4 threes. That's very surprising. Uh, for the Pistons, Jaden Ivey, he tried his best. He could not hit a 3 this entire series, as you can see in all 4 games. 3 for 6, 0 for 2, 0 for 4, and now 1. For seven. Uh, Terry Rozier gave a valiant effort off the bench with 20. Cade Cunningham had 19. Struggled from the field. And Jalen Durant had another great game with four steals. But we complete the sweep. And we are going to most likely face the Cavaliers. If they don't blow a 3-0 lead. Because remember they just came back 3-0. Against the eight seeded Hawks. So we'll see what happens there. Anyways that's going to be for me. GG.